Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another gameplay during the Champions Showdown, a tournament organized by Saint Louis Chess Club. And this time uh, we have Chess 960, Fisher Random Chess, so not regular chess. I show you already one game where Alireza Firuzia played against Gary Kasparov. If you haven't seen that, check over there, there is the, there is the link. And uh, first, let's discuss the position. What's, what's going on in the position? Because we have the king on the, on the D file. Now, does it mean that the queen side become the king side or, or the opposite? It's a pretty funny uh, situation. However, I will call it more traditional way as the, the A file, B file, C file are of course the queen side. Now, we have the, the knights uh, exactly the same like in the, in the first game I just showed you. So the knights definitely would like to develop this way. Uh, and also we have the bishops from hell uh, on these diagonals ready to, to start so definitely any moves like like f4 g3 gonna be very very natural we have the rooks which gonna support for example um the the c pawn and e pawn but also very important white and black of course also can castle in the first move so the king can swap the position uh with the king this is possible in the move number one in chess 960. Uh, to castle on the king side is more tricky because the queen has to be moved and also the bishop has to be moved first uh, and then the castle is possible. And the queen is on the f file which is quite tricky because you always have to be very careful where you position your queen as it can be you know attacked and trapped pretty easily. So without further ado, let's see what happened on the board. Uh, I would like to show you the game between Levon Aronian, who's gonna play as white, and Peter Sfiedler. And Peter Sfiedler, in first game, he won against Gary Kasparov, um, and he's gonna play as black in this game. So let's see what happened on the board. We have f4, so opening the diagonal, and also uh, attacking already a7. So a very tricky move in the, you know, first move, unexpected, knight c6, defending that pawn, and now knight c3. So pretty much mirroring uh, the moves, we have f5, g3, g6, and now bishop c6. So Levon Aronian gives up his pair of bishops. We have d takes on c6, and similar to the Berlin defense, pawn structure so definitely it's good for black to for example castle on the queen side and you know continue with the rook on the on the d file and here we already have very tricky moment of the game as the move five Levon Aronian, the best move in the position would be just castle here and after let's say castle then play d4 d4 just to create this kind of marozzi bind against you know any e5 moves however we have d4 immediately by levon aronian playing against e5 and now i'm not sure um, about what just happened here but uh, peter Fiedler probably trust levon aronian in that and he thought okay so i cannot play e5 the tricky thing is that e5 is the best move in the position now let's see why because after e5 uh, d takes on e5 the most natural move cannot be played can you believe that uh, you can actually pause the video and find the winning continuation for black in this position while i enjoy my cup of tea okay ready did you find it this is actually forced checkmate in three so the winning move is the castle castle and this is a checkmate this is a checkmate uh, what white can do can actually throw some pieces like you know knight d5 and uh, also the bishop but this is a checkmate and the pieces cannot help because this rook uh, these rooks cannot help there are no uh, minor pieces so as you see minor pieces around the king uh, are you know huge assets with the rooks on the on the side it can be very very tricky so uh, this is already you know first first uh, idea here in the game uh, 
Uh, of course, f takes on e5 would have to be played, but then simply black can uh, pick up the pawn back and everything is fine with the position. We can have the castle, bishop g7, uh, and black stands uh, pretty good here. Of course, can castle also on the queen side and continue the game. So already move d4 was a huge inaccuracy from Levon Aronian, and it looks like, you know, very solid move. We have castle by Peter Sfiedler and now castle by Levon Aronian. So similar, but definitely not the same. And now uh, Peter Sfiedler can bring the, the knight to the game, which is uh, one of the best moves in the position. Uh, he can, for example, bring the king to b8 or play something like bishop g7, very natural moves. Uh, however, he want to get rid of the pawn um, on the on the C file, double pawns on the C file. For now, they work pretty good as the defenders of the king. So I'm not sure as this pawn, for example, you know, defend these pawns. So the knight cannot jump, for example. Uh, however, we have C5 with the very interesting plan. So we cannot, you know, blame Peter that he has this plan. But after D takes on C5, Bishop takes on uh, c3, b takes on c3, white has this very ugly pawns. Now, the funny thing is that these pawns are really strong, you know, in defense, because, for example, this pawn is defended, uh, and also after queen f6, king b2, and how you gonna get to the to the king? You cannot bring the queen, for example, uh, to b6. This pawn is a, is a really, really strong piece. Um, and how you continue? For example, if you try to, let's say, exchange the rooks first uh, and open the position a bit, like e5, knight b3, uh, what, to, what to play next? How to continue? Find the plan for, for black, how to continue the game. Very, very difficult position, in my opinion, to play. Let's say uh, e takes on f4, then the queen gonna be activated and it's gonna be very, very strong piece. Uh, black can take the pawn, but it doesn't really matter because queen a4 attacks the pawn, attacks, you know, d7, and black cannot stop that. So white already has a winning position. Uh, even you know king b8 doesn't help it's even worse because after queen d7 there are mating ideas and in the worst case scenario uh, white gonna win the piece here so it, it, it's 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 pretty bad for example to activate the 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 queen c6 gonna be met for example with rook d6 as this pawn you know def was defending d6 so that's also not that great queen e6 maybe but still you know a queen f3 now this pawn can for example cause the some, some double pawns on the c file from from black perspective as well so something like e4 queen e3 and white has a really really nice uh, game here so Peter Sfiedler tries something else, a5, he wants to eliminate this knight from the game, very nice plan, because if he play a5, this knight will, will not jump to b3, and also, you know, c2 is, is not possible to jump, so this knight actually would stack, very nice move, we have a4, Levon doesn't like this idea, and now we have queen c6 going already after that pawn. And it looks very, very uh, dangerous. However, Levon very calmly played knight b3, saying, okay, if you take my pawn, uh, you can go for it. But after rook a1, I'm gonna take your pawn and then your knight is, you know, not really safe there. Uh, black would have to play something like, you know, queen e4, very tricky move. And after rook a5, this knight is stuck over there, but there are moves like b6 uh, with the attack on the rook and then the knight would be defended. But as you see already, the position of black king isn't that great as it was just, just before. Rook a6, another rook gonna come to the, the a file and that's extremely dangerous. So this is why we have b6 now defending the pawn on uh, on a5 uh, and now e4 by levon aronian and now uh, what is the idea of e4 opening the position not at all queen a6 queen a6 pretty tricky move can you imagine this this chess 960 is you know sometimes it's uh it's a uh, very tricky when i try to understand the the game and sometimes it takes me you know a while why to play the moves like that but yeah this is the idea and the point is if the black would play something natural like king b7 after exchanging the rooks uh 
white could play for example a queen b5 forcing to exchange the queens otherwise we have some some nasty fork so that would be not possible uh, of course bishop b3 could be played however after exchanging the queens white simply would you know fix the pawn structure and white has one extra pawn one extra pawn uh, and pretty comfortable position especially the knight is you know pretty much stuck on them on the a8 square so probably queen b8 would have to be played uh but then a takes on b5 let's say f takes on e4 c6 and it's even worse because this knight will never get uh, get out okay and uh, there is another weakness here so uh, the position is already very tricky king b7 isn't that great this is why we have bishop c5 so uh, peter Fiedler got the idea okay I'm gonna open the B file and maybe somehow I'm gonna bring the rooks over there. It's not gonna be easy. Maybe I will have to bring the, the knight first, then maybe king to, to B7 and then the rook. It takes couple of moves, but it makes some sense. Uh, however, this move actually removes the defender of the a5 uh, pawn. So Levon pick up the pawn for free. We have queen b6 attacking the, the knight as well with, with check. We have knight b3 and now c4 is not possible because of this pin. So um, that's not possible. This is why we have queen c6 going after that pawn. But now Levon says, no, 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 you're not going to take my pawn. I'm defending my pawn. And, uh, and now how to continue? White already has two extra pawns and uh, the position of the king is maybe it looks like it's not not so strong however how you would like to attack the king uh, this king still blocks the rooks to 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 enter the game uh, we have knight b6 bringing the the knight to the game and now finally queen a6 with check and uh, th there is not much choice king b8 uh, of course has to be played otherwise this is gonna be the checkmate so king b8 has to be played uh, and now we have king a1 so preparing rook uh, to bring the rook to the to the open b file uh, very strong idea and now how to continue now if peter Fiedler would like to try to defend it's a very very tricky and it's probably not possible to defend that position so for example bishop c4 attacking the queen that would be the the one of the trickiest uh, the queen would have to be moved there are not many moves so queen a5 blocking the pawn blocking the pawn so the idea rook b1 with the pawn um, a5 would not work uh, and then the problem is if black tries to you know uh, continue the game let's say rook d6 uh, double the rooks and so on there is the problem queen b4 and now a5 is coming as the knight is pinned and the problem is you cannot even move the king because a5 is coming anyway and this knight uh, is actually defending the bishop so when the knight is moved then of course white gonna win the bishop and win the game so the bishop would have to go back to f7 uh, and now this is of course not possible however still white gonna have a lot of activity here rook b1 let's say rook d2 now the rook can actually defend the pawn uh, let's just you know double the rooks and now instead of bringing the rook to b1 first disconnect the rooks definitely very strong idea now the rooks are disconnected so in case like you know rook e to b1 this rook cannot you know force exchanging the rooks and uh, the attack gonna be uh, much slower um rook d6 probably would have to be played maybe to defend the bring extra defender of the knight as the rook is coming and this attack gonna be very very strong um but then e5 so the the rook has to be moved um, again so rook d5 and then rook e to b1 and uh, black cannot do much here probably would have to run with the king king c8 uh, and then simply rook b6 sacrifice the exchange c takes on b6 and let's say queen a6 with check the king can run a bit but then rook b6 and the queen is quite trapped there can can move to c8 but then very silent move uh, queen b8 and this rook gonna come uh, to b8 so uh, there are some mating ideas here or winning the queen um, as well 
So uh, this this is just dominating and bishop c4 is is it looks like you know the strongest idea here however in this case uh, doesn't really work so uh, peter Fiedler have a different idea and he played the waiting move and it looks like you know the blunder f takes on e4 it looks like he doesn't care at all however he has you know something behind he tries some tricks here some defending tricks he doesn't want to you know lose he he, he just see you know this is the losing position so he just try uh, I, i'm not sure about the time control but maybe Levon Aronian was you know low on time or something uh, and he tried some tricks so rook b1 of course is a very natural move now uh, a5 is coming but now we have rook d2 and now instead of playing rook b2 which of course was possible and we would have very similar position uh, Levon went for a5 we have rook c2 uh, and now you can try to pause the video and find the defending continuation for white while i enjoy my cup of tea so if you would try to defend the position because that is the checkmate i hope you see the checkmate so that's a quite strong threat checkmate in one if you try rook b2 i have a bad news this is just a draw this is just a draw because after rook b2 king b2 then bishop c4 and the queen has nowhere to go the queen is trapped this time because uh levon already moved the the, the pawn so that's quite tricky so uh it would be you know forced to play queen b7 and after exchanging the queens knight b7 king b7 uh this is of course uh pretty much drawish drawish position so rook e4 and uh yeah the, the position is completely equal the bishops has opposite colors and um, and so on so it's it's impossible to to win that game so it's not the move rook b2 actually would be a draw so as you see very very tricky uh peter's fiddler to the to the end now a takes on b6 it's it's winning it's winning however it's uh it's it's still very tricky because uh white would have to you know get the 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 couple of pieces for the queen and continue this way uh maybe queen a8 and after uh, king b3 just take this pawn and this knight can be remaneuvered let's say and black still has the queen and the rook and it can be very dangerous so uh, it's of course better for for white however you know it will probably take much more time to to win that game so uh, this, this was possible however 11 aronian played absolutely the best move in the position rook e2 rook e2 is winning uh, on the spot because uh, in this position peter Fiedler actually resigned and he resigned because there is no checkmate on a2 anymore as the rook um, defends a2 and if you know the, the rook is taken then simply uh, queen e2 and in the next move uh, white gonna win the the knight there is no counterplay so that, that that's pretty much it this is why uh, peter Fiedler uh, after rook e2 just resigned so as you see very tricky game and gary kasparov already show a couple of tricks you know when you can make some mistakes in accuracies in the move number five in the opening he did for example against magnus carlsen and here uh, it's also it was very very tricky peter Fiedler uh, trusted levon aronia and he didn't play you know this this e5 move the best in the position he would have very comfortable game at that time but yeah that's chess 960 and i would like to show you the standings after day two so uh, we have six rounds and levon aronian this is why i show you the game levon aronian won all three games in the tournament this is why after first day he had a one and a half points but after day two he already have four and a half points and so lead so very interesting magnus carlsen hikaru nakamura wesley so definitely favorites of this tournament four points so just behind uh, then lenier dominguez and fabiano caruana peter Fiedler and gary kasparov two points and finally maxim vasiel lagraf got his first point so one and a half point uh, all get in the in the day number two 
Ali Reza Firuzia also one and a half points. So these are the standings. And if you would like to see more games from Champions Showdown Tournament, press subscribe, smash the bell button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.